Your Excellency, the value-based education is in fact a critical pillar of both the competency-based curriculum and the competency-based education and training that we continue to roll out in our education system under your very able leadership. I am confident that once the new curriculum runs full cycle across all the levels of education, our education system will cement its place in the world as one of the best. As part of this process, we are working with our universities to ensure that they are ready for the CBC cohort in 2029. As we do this, we are also implementing various reforms that are designed to enhance access, equity, and quality across all the levels of our education system. These include the student-centered funding model for higher education. Your Excellency, we have reoriented the processes under the funding model to make it more responsive to stakeholder concerns. As we gather here today, students due to join universities are, revising their, are receiving their revised admission letters clearly indicating their respective household contributions to their fees. All public universities would have completed this exercise by tomorrow the 19th of August, 2024. In addition, Your Excellency, to enhancing access and equity in higher education financing, the student-centered funding model also seeks to revitalize our public universities and to place them on a path to sustainability. What our universities must do, however, is also to take deliberate measures to assure their own relevance and sustainability going into the future. Our universities, both public and private, must reinvent themselves and strengthen their foundations for greater resilience in the turbulent economic environment. We urge each of our universities to create a competitive edge for itself. Universities need to develop relevant niche areas that will make them unique, competitive, and attractive. This is the gateway to profitable local and international partnerships. It is also the key to commercialization of research and innovation and to ensuring that universities play their role in solving the challenges that society faces. I am also persuaded that we need a funding model that is not focused on the university, but focused on the student. Yes. A funding model that will not leave any child in Kenya behind. A funding model that recognizes that there are children from vulnerable families. I don't think it is correct for all of us to assume that we are all the same, and that students from vulnerable families don't need affirmative action. They do. And that is why, in this new model, we are increasing scholarship and loan for students from vulnerable families from 80% to 95%. <clears throat> I am persuaded that it is the right thing to do. And so, as it was difficult before, so it is now, but the right decisions need to be made anyway. We will celebrate them further down the road. To the class of 2024, I congratulate you on your hard work and achievement. I wish you success as you go forth into the world. Practice your professions and actualize your great potential for the benefit of your families and your nation. I pray fervently that your wisdom, integrity, and strength increase as you put your knowledge and skills to the service of God, our creator, our nation, and to our fellow citizens.
Thank you very much. My very best wishes. Well done. God bless you. Thank you very much. I thought I should be the first one to take the opportunity to congratulate you from transitioning from graduates to graduates. Congratulations, all of you. Secondly, is to congratulate our new Vice Chancellor, Mr. Msafiri Namba Jackson. Congratulations for taking up the mantle of leading this great institution. And I want to welcome you to Kenya and welcome you to this institution and to join the leadership of our education fraternity in Kenya. I am very confident that you have the requisite knowledge, understanding and experience to be able to run this great institution and take it to greater heights as is expected by this community, the church and the government. Let me just tell you that um, in the lingua franca here in this Nandi County, your name would have been Kipruto. That is the translation of Msafiri. So when anybody makes a mistake and says uh, Vice Chancellor Kipruto, they are not very wrong. I congratulate Baraton University for being the first to offer a degree in nursing. This has been a premier institution in the development of our human capital. And because of three reasons. Number one, that this institution has excelled in that profession. And number two, that you have produced some of the best healthcare professionals in Kenya. And number three, that there is still need for an expanded education in the space of nursing and especially healthcare professionals. And there are many students out there who would value a chance to study in that space in this college. The request that has been put to me for a grant from the government of Kenya for the completion of the facility that you have in this institution, I'm instructing the Ministry of Education to give a grant of 60 million shillings for the development of that facility as the university continues to service our healthcare professionals' requirements in Kenya. Congratulations again. My very best wishes to you, to your parents, to your families, and to our great nation, Kenya. Asante sana. I'm deeply humbled by the warm welcome I have received from the entire university fraternity. I come into this role as a fellow worker and team leader, fully aware that the success of your institution is the result of our collective efforts. Each person's role, whether large or small, is crucial to our shared mission. The reception I have received reinforces my confidence that I will have the full support and cooperation of every member of UEAB community. Together, we will advance our mission, uphold our values, and ensure that our university remain a beacon of excellence in education and services. Together, as we look forward, let us remember that the true strength of our university lies not, not just in the infrastructure or in the numbers, but in the spirit of collaboration, innovation, and excellency that each of us bring to our roles, to our roles. It is this spirit that will guide us as we continue to scale new heights and make a lasting impact to the lives of our students and the broader community. I would like to pay special tribute to our outgoing Vice Chancellor, Professor Philip Mayo. Under Professor Mayo's leadership, our institution has undergone an extraordinary transformation. His vision and commitment have led to an impressive increase in enrollment, more than tripled the number of students who now have the enrollment 
opportunity to benefit from the exceptional education we offer. Professor, Professor Maio Tenya has also been marked by significant advancement in our infrastructure. The new e-learning building stand as a beacon of our commitment to providing cutting-edge educational resources. I also want to acknowledge the tireless effort of all past vice chancellors and the countless university leaders who contributed to our institution's journey.